Clay masks can absorb oil from your skin and to an extent prevent mild forms of acne. And sometimes there's nothing that feels quite as satisfying as a clay mask, especially when you're dealing with a fresh breakout or your skin feels extra greasy. Clay masks help to cleanse, smooth, and brighten the skin. And in today's video, we'll be comparing two of the most popular clay masks on the market. The Cetaphil Pro Derma Control Purifying Clay Mask versus the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. Definitely stay tuned until the end and you'll know exactly which one is better and why you would want to go with that one. I've been getting a lot of questions on different products and I'll be making more comparison videos in the future just like this one with a lot more products. I've already made a few on my channel and I've made a playlist of them so you can easily find them in the link below. Also make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to not miss out on future videos. And if you learn anything in the video, it would mean the world to me if you take two seconds now to give it a like down below as this really helps out the channel. And to make this video hopefully easy to follow and easy to refer back to, I'll first start out with what the Cetaphil clay mask has in common with the Aztec clay mask. Then I'll break them down each into their own respective components, weigh the pros and cons so you don't have to, and then finish it off with my final take. And for full disclosure guys, I purchased these myself and this isn't a sponsored video. So if you enjoy the transparency, like the video down below. Now, as far as what they both have in common, it's going to be the main ingredient in them, which is known as the bentonite clay. And basically bentonite clay is a natural clay with a fine, soft texture, and it forms a paste when it's mixed with water. And basically how it works is that bentonite clay, it starts to adsorb materials by sticking to their molecules or ions. And as the clay leaves off the skin when it gets washed off, it takes the toxins and impurities out with it, and off your face, which means that it helps remove sebum from the skin surface. And at the same time, it may also have a calming effect on inflamed breakouts. So basically it's going to grab onto the excess oil, dirt and debris and pollutants off your face, leaving you with the fresh face. Now, what's super unique about the Aztec clay and arguably what makes this so incredibly popular is the fact that it's the only ingredient in it. So if you're one that believes less is more in skincare, this is your best bet right here for clay masks. Has no preservatives, no fragrances, or other irritating chemicals, making it great for sensitive skin. Now let's dive a little deeper on it. Now, one thing you may know about it is that it has to be mixed before you use it, either with water or apple cider vinegar, which is not the case for the Cetaphil one that is ready to go out of the jar. When you open it, you'll know it doesn't have a fragrance or any smell, but it does start to smell pretty funky when you mix it with apple cider vinegar. What do you mean funky? Go ahead, take a sniff. Ooh. And for you to really maximize the benefits of the bentonite clay and for it to start drawing out those impurities that are tucked away under the skin, make sure that you are using it with a one-to-one -one ratio and the equal parts of the clay and the apple cider vinegar. So if you're doing three tablespoons of the clay, do three tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar as well. The acidity of the vinegar will help to soften the skin and exfoliate skin while the clay removes the oils. But if you can't deal with the smell, you could use water like I do. So get a medium sized bowl, stir the mixture until it is a smooth paste, add more clay or liquid as needed and apply a 1 8 to 1 4 inch thick layer of the clay to your face. You want to make sure it's not spread out too thin, so a 1 4th of an inch is best here. Leave it on for about 5 minutes if you have really delicate skin and about 15 to 20 minutes for normal skin. As you can see, I have it on here and right away you really start to feel it tightens up really well as soon as it starts to dry. You can't really move your face much and there's a slight tingle coming from the apple cider vinegar, but that's totally normal and once you wash it off, you really feel like you have a fresher face right away. Now I use it with water because it's less irritant and I didn't notice too much of a difference with it either. One thing that stood out is that the pores did look noticeably smaller on my nose, which was awesome. Overall, I'm really impressed with the outcome. Not just that, the value might in fact just be unbeatable. You get so much in such a decent sized jar that you could probably get around 15 masks per jar, which means each mask would be under a dollar. Talk about savings. Now let's move on to the Cetaphil Pro Derma Control Purifying Clay Mask. With this one here, 
No mixing is involved at all, so this will help you save some time, definitely. And the instructions are simple. Apply it after you've washed your face and leave it on for five to 10 minutes and then rinse it off with warm water. And it can be used up to three times a week if you want. Now, when leaving it on, I noticed there's a difference between the texture with this one. This one feels a lot softer and less harsh. There is a, still a slight tingle with this as well, but hey, that's fine with me because I know it's at least doing something and I'd rather have tingling than burning. And when you wash it off again, you feel the same feeling. You feel your skin tighter and refreshed. But in addition to all that, Remember that the Cetaphil clay mask provides a lot more ingredients that you should be aware of. And there's about five notable ingredients in it that stand out in the world of clay masks and face masks in general if you're looking for an all-purpose mask. In addition to bentonite clay, it contains kaolin clay. Now kaolin clay works to basically do the same thing as bentonite, which is to absorb sebum and oils and prevent pore clogging. It also has some antibacterial properties too, which may be beneficial to treating acne as well. So the bentonite will draw out the impurities and the kaolin will gently exfoliate. The second ingredient in it is that it contains shea butter. Now shea butter is used in these masks because it has a moisturizing and anti-inflammatory property that come from the fat that's extracted from the nuts of the shea tree that's native in West Africa. It has a high concentration of vitamins and fatty acids, which does an amazing job making it easy to spread across the face. And you find that definitely with the Cetaphil one. The third notable ingredient in it is the apple fruit extract, making it high in antioxidants and great for anti-aging. The apple extract is also loaded with alpha hydroxy acid, malic acid being the most abundant, which will help provide more gentle exfoliation during the process of leaving it on for about 10 minutes. The fourth ingredient that caught my eye is the avocado oil. So again, you're getting more antioxidants and I know Kiehl's products are famous in adding them in. Even a small amount of avocado oil can help you deal with dry, flaky, or rough patches on the skin. So it's great for hydration and I like seeing that in face masks. And lastly, the fifth ingredient and what may be the most classical ingredient to any face mask that you know of is cucumber. And not just any cucumber, they use cucumber seed oil. And cucumber seed oil is rich in tocopherols and tocotrienols, which are your organic fat soluble compounds that are essentially your vitamin E's that will reduce inflammation. Cucumber seed oil also contains moisturizing alpha tocopherol and gamma tocopherol, both of which helps protect against UV rays and environmental pollution that lead to wrinkles and the signs of aging. So talk about an all around anti-aging face mask. Now, both of these products are an amazing option when starting off with clay masks, but no video is complete without going over some things I didn't like about each of them, because remember, this is all about transparency. As for the Aztec clay mask, don't get me wrong, this is a tremendous value for what you're getting, as it's not only budget friendly, but it's simple and straightforward. You get what you're asking for in a clay mask, which is your bentonite as well. But what I didn't like is that you have to prepare it, which may in fact be a factor to consider for you. And let me know what your thoughts are if you mind that or not. And as far as the Cetaphil clay mask goes, because it contains two types of clays, I don't know if all that is necessary as it may cause over drying, especially if your face is not even that oily to begin with. If your face is already dry and that's something you're actively treating, then I would avoid it for now. But if it is oily and you want to have a quick fix at it, then the Cetaphil one may work in your favor. But if I were to pick one though, I definitely would go with the Cetaphil clay mask because I like the fact that it contains shea butter, which is one of my favorite skincare ingredients. Don't forget to let me know what your thoughts are down below and what you think. Have you tried any of these? What were your results like? Leave them in the comments below. Like the video if you learned anything and leave a comment down below if you have any questions as well. I'd be happy to answer them. And until then guys, I aspire to see you all live your best life possible and I'll see you guys on the next one.